Good evening to you. I'm Lauren Adams. What caused a deadly fire in Washington County and why the victim wasn't able to make it out remains under investigation tonight. Salem's fire chief says there's nothing suspicious about this fire, just tragic. The victim has not yet been identified, but neighbors I spoke with tell me she was a nice woman who kept to herself. A woman one neighbor tried to save. I don't know the woman. Never met the woman. But when Ronnie Gray saw flames and smoke coming from this apartment Tuesday afternoon, he sprung into action, making it just past the front door. I yelled, anybody in there? And I didn't hear no answer. He was met with was silence and thick black smoke. Black Gray smoke. tried the window. Again, the heat and smoke was overwhelming. You couldn't see this far. It was that smoky. And that's when he was forced to give up a decision that has haunted him. It's a shame. I, uh, like I said, I tried. I tried going and saying to somebody's life, I don't even know. By that point, neighbor Loretta Thompson says the flames were bigger and the smoke was thicker at Parkview Apartments. Uh, once it was just as black as coal. Everybody started moving back. She I says she could only stomach to watch for a few moments. I had to go in the house. I, I was so emotional. I was crying. I went in the house. It was, it was unbelievable knowing that there was no way they could get her out. Firefighters, including Salem's chief Tom Day, arrived on scene just four minutes after neighbors called 911. And I actually was on the second truck out. But in spite of a quick response, firefighters would discover a woman dead in her living room. It's always a very sad scene. You know, and we've seen it before, but it, but it never changes. It's, it's always very hard on us. And hard on Ronnie Gray, who wishes he could have done more. That's all I've been doing all night. Pray for the family. Here, just close to Christmas, they, you know, they got no loved one. The fire chief says this fire appears to have started in the living room at the front of the apartment, but how it happened is still under investigation. This investigation will likely wrap up by the end of the week. Now, three other units at the Parkview Apartments were damaged. One resident was treated at the hospital for smoke inhalation, but was later released. I can tell you tonight that.